Myers with StandUpLibrarian.com, and I'm here at my home library, which is the Gulf Beaches Public Library here in Madeira Beach, Florida. And I'm here with an incredible Florida writer, the Tim Dorsey. Here he is. He's promoting his latest book, uh, Pineapple Grenade. Now, Tim, I just, I've been in Los Angeles for five years, but I'm a native Floridian. And now you write everything. And you're back. And good, I'm back. Good, good. And I'm back, people. Um, but you write all about Florida. What is it about Florida that just makes you want to write? Was it 15 books now? Yes. Uh, well, I grew up here, and I think any place where you grow up as a kid, you take it for granted. I had to leave for a little bit, and uh, when I came back, um, I just wanted to go visit all the places where I grew up. I was gone for maybe about nine years, and uh, that's when I appreciated how lucky I was to have grown up here. And, and I was working on books at the time, and then that's when it grabbed me and said, these have to be Florida books. What is one of your favorite activities that you like to do when you're in Florida? Personally, I like to walk the beach at sunset and pick up seashells. I like to just have an open day. I mean, I have my character say this. His definition of happiness is uh, Florida, no appointments, and a full tank of gas. <laughs> and uh, I just like to just take off down the road, you know, pick a direction, have my camera, you know, have uh, my video camera as well, and notebook, and, and just kind of go and talk to people and explore. And that's where I find some of the most obscure places in the books. And... Uh, it's Which is in one of your one of your other books, right? Is about all of the real places that a lot of the other pla the yes, places are based yes. on. What is that one called? Uh, the whole series, the Surge series. <laughs> oh, okay, no, but you did a uh, one that's not by your publisher. What's it called? Oh, yeah, the, the the it's the photo book. The photo book, and that's available on your website, right? Yes, the photo book. This is this is actually where I go around and take my photos, um, and they actually are the photos of the real locations that are contained in the books. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of people out there probably would like to visit the real places. I mean, that's kind of what's great. You can read the fiction version, and then you can come to Florida, see the real versions, and then maybe see the real Surge. I mean, that's the lead <laughs> character of all these amazing, he's really insane. Have you based this character on s one person in particular? or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Does he know that's that's the character, that he's the character? Well, he's the guy I see in the mirror every morning. Oh, okay, there you go. We're with him right now. And she's not running. She's <laughs> Listen, I've lived in Los Angeles and New York. I can take no, I, I have impulse control. That's the difference. But I do think of this stuff when people, you know, <laughs> give you the finger in traffic when they've cut you off, you know. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Well, uh, being a native Floridian and now being a librarian and a comedian, I can really appreciate what you're trying to do. And the fact that we're here today at a library, what do libraries do for you as a writer? Uh, sell a lot of books. Uh, no, they, no, no, they actually, libraries, frankly, uh, in every author, this is kind of like uh, behind the scenes that people don't realize is you really have to, it takes a long time for the word of mouth to catch. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just a lot of books, the great books out there that are just dying on the vine and you have to get out and um, I get getting turned down by a lot of bookstores and libraries were welcoming me with open arms and so, you know, I've done this, this is the Gulf Beaches Library, I've done it, uh, I think, uh, 13 or 14 times now, ever wow. since the beginning, yeah. So, and I'll, I'll always come back because, um, you know, they were having me when, like I said, you know, I couldn't get arrested in a lot of bookstores. Mm -hmm. And I've been a volunteer several times, and I'm now coming back. And I actually wanted to become a librarian because of Maggie Sinella, who is actually the library director here. So thank you, Maggie, for having Tim and myself a part Thanks, of this Maggie. fantastic place. Thanks, Maggie. <laughs> and um, to find out more information about Tim, you can just go to timdorsey.com, right? And you can purchase any of his fantastic books and merchandise and whatnot. So, again, this is Meredith Myers with StandUpLibrarian.com with the awesome Tim Dorsey. Thank you, Meredith. Thank Thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming today. This is a great turnout. And uh, obviously, you're all here to see Tim Dorsey. And if you didn't see Sunday's paper, there is a huge article. Huge article. And then also two, two whole pages inside. And we are really honored to have an author of this caliber here at Gold Beaches. I'll give you a, if, for those of you who um, haven't been here for many years, Tim first started coming to this library like maybe 10 years ago, I want to say. More. More than 10. And we had just a handful of people. Mm -hmm. There were just like maybe three or four of us. And he was going around to libraries just saying, oh, can I come? Can I talk to people? I'm pushing my books. You know, I'm a new author. 
and he started from just a couple of people to this, mm -hmm. and you know that, and and he remembers us. So mm -hmm. yes, we're we're very pleased about that. And Tim is here today to talk about pineapple grenade, and um, I know if people have questions, he is more than happy to answer, and he's an excellent presenter. So let me introduce Tim Dorsey here. Who's that guy, asked Coleman. Randy Wayne White, the famous author, said Serge. This is his turf, so please don't do anything to embarrass me. Yo, Randy, yelled Coleman, your books suck. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man, there's a good shell right there. That's an olive shell uh, right there, and it is perfect. That is a perfect olive shell. See, it's perfect. And it's nice and shiny. So it's in good condition. The tip is pointy. And there's no animal in it. Because I don't want to take any shell that there's an animal alive living in it still. So I can take this one. Yay! All right, awesome. I'm glad we found a good shell. Okay. That's what I call paradise. 